Phil Vischer's podcast, this is the creator of The Veggie Tales, is often a podcast that seems to want to irritate people who are biblically minded. He seems to be quite progressive and quite woke in his thinking. In this clip, he claims that the pastors in the South have bought into the American dream, which is, he says, now a biblical dream of cheap oil. Let's give him a listen. There's a whole section in Genesis about how we are to take care of the land and, you know, make sure that everything is fruitful and multiplies. And I yeah. just don't understand why, where did we all of a sudden make this switch that we don't have to care for the environment or it's not an issue? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I'm going to say it has part to do with the shift uh, around the turn of the to the 20th century from post-millennialism to pre-millennialism when we went from thinking we were here to improve life on earth until we bring about the millennium uh, to thinking no actually the world is going to get worse and worse and worse and then we're just going to get raptured out of here so you know it's a little bit of, of left behind mentality that we're going to be rescued off this place it doesn't really matter. It's our Airbnb. It doesn't really matter what shape we leave it in because it's not our house. This is not my home. This is not my home. I live in another land. And hmm. so I'm going to trash my hotel room. <laughs> and then the other side of it is just, I, I think, uh, the, the profound influence of the petrochemical industry on uh, Southern Christianity because so much of the money in Texas and Louisiana and Mississippi is, is from the petrochemical industry and those are the people in churches. So pastors don't want to preach against fossil fuels when fossil fuels are paying the bill. And so big business and uh, cheap energy became part of the American dream. And the American dream is obviously biblical because the alternative is communism and socialism. So if America works because of oil and gas, and that's part of why we're where we are, then we were blessed by God to use all the oil and gas. That calling people names because they're different is wrong. I really have three points to address kind of the nonsense of that clip. First, to quote, be fruitful and multiply in Genesis 1.28 has nothing to do with using fossil fuels and protecting the environment. Genesis 128 relates to the humans procreating, being fruitful, multiplying, and filling the earth. Number two, post mill, all mill, pre mill, or pan mill, whatever your millennium choice is, all believe that earth is not your final destination. If you remember what Jesus said, Jesus will come again like a thief. He will come when we do not know he's going to come. But the book of Hebrews makes things even more clear for us. In chapter 13, verses 14 to 15. For here, that's on earth, we have no lasting city, but we seek the city that is to come. Through him, then let us continue to offer up a sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. And here we see in the book of Hebrews that even the book of Hebrews declares that this place is not our home. We long for and anticipate a new city. And of course, that is heaven. We are just in this Airbnb. This is not our home. And we eagerly await the new heavens and the new earth. But that doesn't mean that we trash the earth. And I don't believe any Christian out there is trashing the earth. And the third point how on earth can you make such a blanket statement about southern pastors? And you could say about it, the pastors in Alberta, Canada, where there's lots of oil. This is a straw man argument. This is a logical fallacy. This is just a way to dis distract from the biblical mandate we're given by God to reach the world. The biblical mandate for the church is to preach Christ. That's our mandate. And in fact, in every gospel in the book of Acts, we have a great commission. And the great commission is not to be environmentalists. 
It is to preach the gospel and to reach people for Jesus Christ. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Mark 16, verse 15. Luke 24, 47 to 48. John 20, verse 21. In Acts chapter 1, verse 8, we're to be witnesses, and all throughout the book of Acts, we see the Great Commission fulfilled. The church right now is, seems to be off kilter. They've lost their focus and their mission. The mission of the church is to preach, proclaim Jesus Christ, make him known, so that all could come to know him and experience him and enjoy him. Thanks for watching, and God bless.